What is up guys? Today is Friday the 1st of July 2022 and I made 1800 on the Forex market. So I'm going to show you guys my quick scalping strategy that I used to make 1800 very quickly on the market today, right? So it's pretty much a very calm day, nothing really serious going on. But I spotted very early on in the day during the Asian session a very nice opportunity that could have actually made me a lot of money. So I decided to really jump on it. So if you're not following me on Instagram, this is where you want to follow me because on Instagram, as of today, I held a live session around 4 a.m., 5 a.m. ish, which is the prime time for Asian session. And then I informed my followers that we're going to be having a trade setup on GBP JPY, which is a currency pair that I decided to take advantage of on this morning, right? So when I woke up this morning, basically the JPY pairs are taking a dash on the downside, right? So so it was really selling off for the most part right and then particular one that i took key note of was the gbp jpy you guys have known me for a while and you know that when it comes to me i have a special thing with a pound pair so when i spotted the fact that perhaps this gbp jpy may have been overly extended has sold off far enough than usual pip range then it may possibly make a quick reversal a quick turn off so i might as well just come in catch that quick turn off within that london session before any other thing happens on the market i mean it's friday i'm not trying to waste my time sitting by the chat the whole day so i might as well just squeeze out a few pips from the market before that happens so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to run you guys through how quickly i jumped in on this market took advantage of it squeezed out money from the market right let me show you guys quickly and then literally just bolted with the money because today is friday and get no time to waste here and then made as much as thousand eight hundred dollars on the market right so just so you know it's a live account so thousand eight hundred quickly banked let me show you guys here on the market you see here xness my broker it's a real account right and then quickly just got out of the market without wasting much time so come on let me just show you a quick rundown of the trade setup right yeah guys so this is gbp jpy on this side of the chart we have the four hours and then on, on this side of the chart we have the one hour but this setup really played out on the five minute and 15 minute time frame i'm going to switch down to the five minute and 15 minute time frame before I, I show you that right so here if you watch the four hour you're not going to clearly see how market structure was playing out but on the hourly you could clearly see that market structure wise we were literally making a high 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 low formation which is like a drop from the upside a pullback drop pull back drop pull back drop and then this extensive push which literally hits one of my key areas in the market right so if you have known me for a while you know that when it comes to me i have certain key levels in the market where i believe that they are so sensitive for market to perhaps react even though i believe that they are so sensitive for the market to perhaps react i really do watch out for candlestick confirmations and then price action within those areas so i don't just blindly follow those key levels in the market right so most traders just trade key levels blindly right you cannot really trade key levels blindly in the forex market because market don't really respect or know your key levels there's not any predefined or generalized key levels in the market but if you're smart as a trader then you're going to be watching how these market react around your specified key levels and see if it's informing you any decision to make so that's exactly what i expected after this huge drop here which is what i spotted on the one hour and then tapping exactly on my key level which is that 163.50 area right 163.50 area that was exactly how the, the market was looking with this huge uh bullish candle right so if you look here you, you can clearly see this nice bearish candle here right so with this huge bearish candle so if you watch here you can see this very huge bearish candle four hour candle right which which totals about um let's see how many pips almost 170 pips on just one four hour candle right so when i spotted that i realized that this could be a key opportunity for this market to make a quick shift on the upside right which is like a pullback so let me as well just catch that quick move on the upside which was exactly in the london session open right so now focus on this part then you're going to see something when i drill down into the 15 minute time frame what can you see exactly when this market hit this level right i actually dropped this trade into the trading community and asked them that look i'm trying to buy gbp jpy but before then i had actually waited for a couple of rejections within that area right so if you watch here you can clearly see the kind of rejections that i'm talking about but i'm going to detail one more thing that is even going to make this thing extra easier for you to understand right now if you watch what is happening here you can clearly see that after this market had made this low and then it pulled back up guess what it came back down again before pushing up right so 
the first point of my entry was when he had made this first low and then pushed back up like this right so first low here gave a candlestick rejections right this is a, a morning star formation very beautiful one one two three pattern right looking to break up off on the upside and then that was where i started actually loading positions and then with this trade because we had come into the very lows and then it was still like a day trade i intended not to risk a lot more money on this just about 30 pips right so my stop loss was just a little bit around this region here right so 30 pips from the range like that just something around here right and then expecting take profit actually anticipating for the market to go somewhat all the way into these highs with my first take profit in the halfway and then second take profit somewhere around these regions right so first take profit just around here and then second take profit here now this market then just pulled back tapped into my entry range which was very scary right because a whole lot of traders were actually on this i held an instagram live and a zoom session for the community members to all jump in on this trade so we're all monitoring the trade on a live zoom session right so here when our entries were still around this region this market came all the way down but if you've actually watched my videos which talks about support resistance and how i i spot on structures you realize that i predefined that anytime i have a structural formation on the market what i look out for is that once this market does not close beneath my initial low and then it comes down and creates a wick and then a push up then it gives me that indication that this market can actually fulfill what i'm looking at so here it was a very scary move almost five pips to hit our stop loss and this market quickly just pulled all the way back now it teaches us a lesson what big lesson did i personally and then my community members learn from this it teaches us the fact that stop loss gotta be where stop loss needs to be all that means is that as you're a trader and then you're trading and you set a stop loss you got to believe in the fact that your stop loss means that that is where you have anticipated that when you're wrong the market should take you out if you're not wrong then it means that your stop loss hasn't been hit right so you can stay in the trade as long as the market keeps trading right you got to pre-anticipate that this is the money i want to lose and that is why i'm putting my stop loss here all you got to do now is let the market determine your fate so most people would have chickened out if i was not actually monitoring the trade with them which is what a lot of traders do actually right so once the market is just trading just a few pips to their stop loss you can see here just about eight to five pips to their stop loss they're going to think ah well it might as well just hit my stop loss let me just close this trade they close it and then realize that the next day market tends and then go all the way up what i did actually is that i waited once this market closed with this doji here i even stacked on some few more positions right as you can see from the screenshot the moment the market came all the way there i actually did stack on some few positions let me see if i can show you um, a screenshot of my position so you can see here that i had entered here with a lot size and i had entered extra positions here as well right so as much as the market was just trading within those range all i could just do is just add on to positions within those range because it, look here you can see that i was really stacking up my positions the more the market came into my favor and gave me the rejections i added 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 extra 0 0.5 and guess what this market quickly started pushing on the upside making us about 80 pips quickly so so fast within the morning and then that was what i was able to bank a thousand eight just about two thousand dollar profit on and decided to close about 80% of my positions and let the rest run which is what you got to do right so most traders they get so deluded in a trading position that they do not care to even take extra profit you've seen a whole lot of money which makes sense so i was actually taking these trades on a fourteen thousand dollar account making about just about thousand eight to two thousand dollars that's about 14 percent increase right 14 percent increase in the span of our two hours that's insane so i have to actually close about 90 percent of my trade and let 10 percent run and guess what this market actually continued all the way down right so it actually didn't go all the way up as you may have been expecting right we actually had this market totally reversed on the move right which is the fact that if i had not taken my profit off the table which is what the market is about nothing is ever guaranteed i'd have actually lost the whole profit that i'd seen on the market right so yeah that's just a quick run through of how i quickly made thousand eight hundred dollars on a single friday morning which is why i love forex market there's no job on the face of air that is going to pay you four thousand eight hundred two hours right especially at this level that we are in and then the kind of economy that we find ourselves being in if you love this kind of breakdown and this video insight make sure to destroy the like button smash on the like button 
and then subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that already click in the link in the description to join the kujo forest telegram community he has about 36,100 members follow me on instagram as well if you haven't done that already let's connect more and then share more insight on my instagram live sessions without wasting my time i hope to bring you more and more and more of these videos i love you guys peace out